On Sunday, February 11th, between the times of 8.05 p.m. and 8.45 p.m., my YouTube channels accrued a total of 94 fresh content claims, 32 on the second channel, 62 on the primary, all from a company called Zodiac Family. The digital distribution rights to the Moomin franchise had swapped hands again. From We Are Aeronautics Network, who had been terrorizing my channel and content for the past couple years, leaving my finished videos a blurry mess just to keep them visible to everyone, to this new company while the damage is already done. It's it's happened several times as I've been releasing and hosting these videos, all steadily getting more and more strict on the property and my ability to produce videos. Wild Brain, MTVOY, Horizontal Line, We Are Era, and now Zodiac. However, it's never felt this bleak for my videos. Every video with Moomin content got hit. All of them. YouTube is where passion goes to die. And I'm done. I can't bear this burden anymore. Am I finally officially quitting YouTube? Not entirely. But, kinda. First, I need to cover some bases, probably answer a lot of questions that have been asked for the past couple years, such as, what happened over the past couple years, how it got to this lack of content from posting multiple times a week, what's going to happen to the Moomin content, what happened to the stream VODs and the second channel as a whole, what am I going to do regarding the Shorts channel and the TikTok content, the state of my coffee page, as well as what I intend to do with it, now that I don't think I'll be able to have much content on it anymore, the overall state of my streams in general, and what happened to my art as a whole. I've got a lot to answer for. This mess has been a long time in the making, to be honest. I haven't been in the best place mentally nor socially. My content has been going through hell. My relationship with content creation on YouTube has mostly soured. And even with my streams over the past year and a half now, I've still fallen into this plague of self-doubt, fatigue, and struggling with both motivation and time management. I've been in such a state that these channels have basically been on life support this whole time. Not dead, but each time I think it's starting to get better, it gets worse. I don't look at it with the same excitement I used to. I look at it with the mindset of why would I even bother wasting my time when things are going to continue to go wrong? It drove me to start posting less, to overall eventually start just not making videos for YouTube. YouTube and I have never had a fantastic creator platform relationship, but it only got worse when I started out putting the Moomin reactions. Of course those videos were met with an incredible amount of success for me, and led me to find an audience of the most absolutely wonderful people who I will always cherish. However, the platform side of things was always a struggle. If I wasn't fighting copyright situations before, Moomin's copyright holders, whoever they are at any given time, only make it worse. And it kept getting worse. And it seems like every other month now, more of my videos get slapped with demonetization or the video getting blocked. It's been a pain, to say the least. So, what will I do about it? Firstly, after everything that had happened, the Moomin videos that are currently up on the channel have been blurred beyond recognition. They need to be re-edited and re-uploaded. However, I think I'm throwing in the towel when it comes to the prospect of monetizing them. It's not going to happen. No matter how much I edit the videos, the monetization will always end up stripped from me. Problem is, I live in the US. And being allowed to stay alive isn't cheap. I have to pay rent, bills, and for food. Your support is kinda keeping this whole endeavor alive, especially now. I will address that more in depth later in the video. And then there's the matter of the last eight episodes and the two movies. I'm going to be completely honest, my drive to do any of this is basically non-existent after I've struggled and lost against the series' copyright holders for years now. I'll figure something else out. I'd like to finish the series, and perhaps maybe just to review the movies, but I doubt that would be a good idea. I don't want my blind impressions of them to be tainted by everything that's happened since starting commentating on this series. We'll have to see what happens. Aside from the Moomin content, I have plans to start producing more independent content. Sure, I'd still like to make supercuts of my older series, as well as highlight videos of my streams, and maybe I'd need some help in those aspects. Should I look into asking some people to help me with the highlight and supercut videos? I'm not well off enough to hire editors, and I really would prefer not to if I can't pay them. People deserve to be paid for their work. So I'm in kind of a pickle when it comes to that. Maybe I just need to work on my work ethic. But that only leads back to the horrible rabbit hole of self-help videos. Fuck that. I don't know, if someone really wanted to make like a highlight channel or best of videos or whatever just for the joy of it, do let me know. I'm still not sure about it though. 
Because I'd feel really bad about not being able to pay you for your hard work. I'd like help, but my mental health will always try to kneecap me for asking for it when I have nothing to offer in return. I have ideas for more artistic videos I plan to make. I intend to start trying my hand at animation and 3D modeling and all sorts of things. I need to get comfortable with just making smaller, shorter videos just because I want to again. But before I do that... I need to get everything else in line. When it comes to the second channel and the VODs, I have to be completely honest, I think separating my content was a mistake. I think I may just end up re-uploading all the series that I posted on the second channel to the primary channel. Honestly, it might be better just to post everything to the primary. It would definitely take a lot of time and work to move the content, but it may end up being for the better. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not about to start flooding sub boxes with videos. Most of the videos would end up being unlisted in playlists. I intend to start organizing all of this stuff a lot better than I have been anyway. All I can say is, whatever I do, prepare for the shakeup. Either way, I know what I will be doing soon. I'm going to start exporting VODs directly from one site to the other. I stream on the website that YouTube doesn't want me to say the name of pretty frequently, and having these VODs recording while that goes takes up a lot of storage space that I'd like to take back for backing up literally everything else. Duper losing everything when his SSD failed kind of scared me into a state of I need backups. Back up your stuff, everyone even if it's just on an external drive. As for the shorts channel, I'm leading towards just deleting it. I hate making shorts content. I hate making TikToks. But here's the thing. I may just start posting the clips and shorts to this channel as well. I want to start consolidating, minimalizing. So I will figure out what to do when it comes to quote-unquote shorts content. The shorts channel will probably be deleted, but I'm not sure about the TikTok. We'll see. Maybe I just need help there too, I don't know. As for coffee, I will be keeping the page open, but I won't be keeping the membership tiers. I think I'd just prefer it to be a tip jar for anyone who likes what I make and would like to have an easy avenue to help support me continuing to make it. However, my streams, I'd say, would be the better way to support that. I intend to start including some fun tip slash bit-based stream incentives, if you guys would like stuff like that. Speaking of the streams, I'm still in the process of figuring out my preferred schedule. In December, I streamed every day. And that was fun, but it was tiring. I want to be able to strike a good balance that I'm proud of, and will be able to create a lot of streamed content, while also not burning myself out like crazy if I end up streaming way too much for way too long. As for my art, I still have several commissioners that have waited way too long for me to deliver their commissioned works. 2023 was a nightmare for me for a lot of reasons that I really don't want to go into. I just kind of stopped making art, and I really don't want that. I need to get back to doing what I love, no matter how difficult last year made it. Hell, I want to start making webcomics at some point, that would be nice. Regardless, I will get back to making my art as frequently as I used to. I will get back to having frequent uploads on this channel. I will get back to the amount of output I used to have and surpass it. This is not a hope, this is a plan. Like I said, I don't intend to fully quit, but I need to shake things up and shake them up a lot. The Blight Von Drake YouTube channel is not dead. It's just been sleeping, like an eldritch entity, and it is ready to rise again. I am ready to rise. Things are going to start pulling up from the ground and really get moving. Do not panic. Heed the call. All is well. Stay tuned.